Well, here's the camper. Uh, we're getting really close to finishing it. Um, walk around a little bit. There's some trim right there I need to put on the inside still. Got a pretty big tongue area here. Got to cap all these edges that go around, uh, go around the trailer. Just for that last seal. Got a window up top here. And then a roof vent that opens and closes, lets some air in. You can see these, uh, where the aluminum meets up, it was all folded over. Just another way to keep that water sealed and out, hopefully. <laughs> Let's start from the back here. Oh, got the lights installed. I had to fabricate some brackets for those. Got a jack down here. Um, took a Harbor Freight jack, flipped it upside down. Put a put a pad on the bottom of it, and then another and then another one on the well, the new bottom, and then the old old bottom. I put a pad on too and welded it directly to the trailer, so it goes up and down. Uh, seems to work great for stabilizing so far. This is kind of a mess; it needs to be cleaned out. I'm not quite finished, but this is kind of the basement here. Uh, there's a access door that I need to make. I've got all the parts; just need to put it together. Uh, it's long enough we can put our fishing poles. We've got you know our table, uh, chairs, all that will go right underneath there, pretty easy. And then our bed sits on top of it there. Still need to clean these up, trim them down. Oops, there it is. Trim them down so we can get that door in. Doors right there actually, and there's the aluminum for it. Oh, go back around. This is the driver's side of the trailer. I made my uh, my fenders. They're not attached, they're just sitting on the tire right now. But made all those by hand. Uh, we've got the door on each side with the sliding window. I'm just getting all this trim finished up on it right now. Uh, just for uh, draft protection around the door. Got piano hinge on each door. These screens need to be replaced. These were used windows I got for a decent price. in the trailer. Uh, here we've got a little shelf with uh, kind of some storage cubby cabinet things. I need to put some doors on. Oh, here's looking into the back of the trailer. Here's the wood floor for the for the bed to sit on. There's that window. Um, I've got trim that goes all the way around the trailer on the inside. I need to get that fully secured. Same with up here. It's been cut to fit around this window. Same with the vent. The vent one needs to be fixed a little bit. We've got an area down here for storage for the dogs, whatever. These are just peel and stick tiles. If I can get them up, I need to I need to install them first, but they're just sitting there now. And then here's that basement area looking towards the back again. I guess it goes that way. <laughs> uh, the other door's right there. It's open right now. A little fan light combo we got pretty cheap on clearance. Magnetizes. There's our roof vent. I think that's about it. The bed area is big enough for a queen. Um, so we'll get a foam mattress, or I don't know if we can squeeze our queen bed through this door. This door is like 32 inches wide. Uh, the trailer itself. Close this. Well, now it's opening. It didn't close the trailer itself from the bottom, right there to the top, it's 42 inches. And then I think it sits, I want to say it was 15 or 17 inches. I'm not, I don't remember right off. Um, from the front of the tongue to the very back is 13 feet, and then the box section of the trailer is 9 feet. Those are Jeep wheels and then snow tires I took the took the studs out of for the trailer. I built a bracket up here. Uh, this was a weld-on jack stand, but I wanted to be able to remove it and replace it, so I made it a bolt-on jack stand. Um, so yeah, that was one thing I 
had to fabricate was that bracket there. Fabricated some, some little mounts back here for these lights. Still need to secure these wires up here. Um, made this out of some U-bolts. Welded them together, cleaned them up, welded it to there, put the chain on, safety chain. That's about it. I probably have another two days of work into this thing and I'll have it finished. Two long days. Um, hopefully we can get it out this weekend. Keep our fingers crossed.